Buster Keaton is widely regarded as one of the greatest actor-director combos in the history of cinema. One reason for this may be the meticulous use of stunts in each of his films throughout the 1920s. Keaton performed his own stunts in each one of his films, save for two, the first of which was 1927's Colin. Producers feared that the high-level star might injure himself and employed the use of an Olympic gold medalist pole vaulter instead. The second stunt was in 1929's Spite Marriage, which required the actor to drive off a dock. Producers feared that he might injure himself and thus used the stunt man. Their fears, however, were justified. In 1920, during the filming of The Electric House, Keaton broke his leg, halting production for two years. The film, completed in 1922, used none of the footage from the original shoot. Keaton was never content simply wowing audiences with his athleticism. He used his incredible balance, agility, and muscle to communicate, to physically tell a story with his body. Keaton fractured his neck during the filming of this scene from 1924's Sherlock Jr., an injury that went unnoticed, but was revealed years later during a routine physical. Audiences were privy to an early form of grand practical effects and incredible stunt work that are now, thanks to Buster Keaton, Joseph M. Shank, and Roscoe Arbuckle, commonplace in cinema today.